I was a girl who was graduating from high school, who watched the news, who occasionally drove by the downtown east side. And a question that came up constantly in my mind was, how can I help? I feel that I was born with this desire to help, but I know that it didn't just come out of the blue. I came from an interesting background of volunteer work, as my family created musicals to raise funds for both local and international charities. performed at River Rock, Bell Theatre, and even in California to help parishes in need and fundraise for organizations such as ANPOP, Answering the Cry of the Poor, which provides education, housing, and basic health care to the poorest of the poor. I was part of the cast for these musicals starting at the humble age of seven, and I grew up pretty much singing, dancing, and acting, knowing that I was making a difference. My family and I loved visiting Rosewood Manor, which was a nursing home in Richmond, BC, and we would perform for the residents. To be honest, I don't remember going a month in my life without volunteering. In my first year at Corpus Christi College, I was inspired by the leadership program to create a nonprofit organization called The Giving Truck. Its mission is to get the youth out there to do random acts of kindness. We want to be the bridge between these big organizations and the youth of today. Being able to see youth enjoy service makes us realize that at the end of our day, our service is worth it. It was such a blessing to have had this experience starting an organization of my own and having the support of my family, friends, and school. Every month, we have different activities ranging from shoreline cleanups, assembling care kits to distribute in the downtown east side, to serving meals at the men's hostel. The Catholic Charities Men's Hostel aims at providing a safe place to eat, sleep, be cleaned, and help with education, employment, health care, and the list goes on. We helped pilot the feeding program at the men's hostel, and especially during the pandemic, we make sure to serve a hot meal to our brothers at the facility. With our various events, one moment that tugged on my heartstrings was when we served a Thanksgiving meal last year at the men's hostel. A resident came up to us, took off his hat and said, I thank you for this meal today. I don't have much and this is my first meal of the day. I lost my spleen and it's hard to digest food, but I had two cups of this fantastic soup and I appreciate this so much. God bless you. He approached us with all humility and I believe that moments like these are truly priceless and cannot be replaced. I really enjoy interacting with our brothers there. The Giving Chucks events have been an amazing part of my life. We are so incredibly blessed to have such great opportunities come our way. Recently, the Giving Chuck was asked by an organization called Push for Change to create a project to raise awareness on youth homelessness and we were able to involve youth virtually. We invited families to take a video or picture of them participating in a bonding activity such as paper airplane making, cooking and baking together, and family photo shoots. The response was amazing, having families bond during this time in quarantine. I also worked on youth homelessness, presenting research on the national and international level in the Map the System competition. I, along with my teammates Sean Ryan and Gabriela Alvarez, represented Canada as one of the six finalists and competed against schools such as Harvard University. We competed at Oxford University, but due to the pandemic, we competed virtually. 
Aside from my work with the Giving Truck and research on youth homelessness, I work at the Corpus Christi and St. Mark's Colleges in the Development and Alumni Relations Office, where I get to connect with the donors and alumni of the school. I not only work with inspiring people, but I also gain such valuable skills that I can apply in my future. I also work with the Archdiocese of Vancouver, hosting webinars on human trafficking in Canada. I hope to pursue social work. My life has been directed at helping people at such a young age, so why stop now? I believe that volunteering is transformative, not only for the people being helped, but also for the person helping. That's why on the Giving Truck social media pages, volunteers write about their experience with us with hopes of seeing more youth say, hey, maybe that's something I could do. We're hoping our events are ways that youth can discover what they're passionate about and find a love for serving the community. It's been quite phenomenal seeing the active members of our community eager to help out as much as they can. Their drive and passion constantly blows my mind. I'm so blessed to witness such an amazing generation of youth coming together to help out in their own small way. This is my first time at the Giving Truck and it was a really great experience. It really opened my eyes and I hope it inspires all of you um, to go out and take action. It's really fun doing this with the OO team and I really hope to be doing this more often. I love spending time with the people in downtown Eastside. It's been going really well. I think that this experience is really heartwarming as well. It feels really nice when you're giving and they're really appreciative and they're really thankful for everything you're doing. I believe in love, you give me reason to. You're the light that lifts me higher, so high up in the sky. I, I think we're gonna fly. I believe in starting over. I can see that your heart is true. I believe in love, you give me reason to. You're the light that lifts me higher, so bright you got me through. Giving Truck doesn't ask the youth to start an organization, but we ask that they get out of their comfort zones and find ways to serve others in their communities. Simply put, find ways to spread random acts of kindness. The question now, whenever I want to help is, what can I give? Can I give my time, resources, food, a monetary donation? What can I do now moving forward? I'm not gonna lie, it's been difficult. Our journey has not been the smoothest, but it has definitely been one of the most rewarding things in my life. At each event, I am constantly motivated by Mother Teresa with her wise words. Not all of us can do great things, but we can do small things with great love. This quote reminds me that there is no small act of kindness. Even the smallest things you do with love can create the greatest ripple effect.